There are many moments in this movie that I love, but there's one in particular that got me thinking about just the power and importance of spot on line delivery. And mm. specifically, it's when you tell Vanellope, I'll miss you. Aww. So when you're in the sound booth doing a scene like that, do you just do it a whole bunch of times and then keep your fingers crossed they pick that take? Or do you all just know it? Well, yeah, that's an interesting, interesting question because I do, my job is kind of to provide raw materials, you know, and then they're refined later by the mm -hmm. animating team and by Rich and Phil, the directors. Uh, so, I mean, to answer your question about how you, how you, I think it's, I think it is kind of obvious to everyone in the room. I just do as many takes as I can until I feel like, okay, I, I did the best I could do with that. Or I did it the most honest way I could do it. That's really usually what I'm chasing is like, I really, you know, uh, something without artifice, mm -hmm. like a real direct. Because when you're when you're doing voiceover for animation, like you're conveying everything through your voice, so you have to really plug in. And um, I think what made that line really work, to tell you the truth, Perry, is that Sarah and I really love each other. You know, and when I look into Sarah's eyes, and it, it's a real thing. It's not just me pretending, it's like me saying to Sarah, I'm gonna miss you, you know, like it's it's a real thing. You feel it, it's the heart of this movie and now I feel like that heart grew because of Gal's character too and the parallels between those two relationships. Yeah, definitely. It's cool that Gal's character, Shank, uh, is actually, she's like my competition for friendship, you know, but it's really cool that she's just not, she, she doesn't say like, oh, get rid of that guy. She's like, be yourself, you know, if you wanna be my friend, you can be my friend too. I thought that was a really, a cool thing, uh, and she did an amazing job she in the did. film. Yeah. There's so much positivity in this movie, and it's a movie about the internet, and I feel like whenever we talk about the internet, it usually is in a negative light. Oh, we all have to disconnect, but mm. this had a different feel to it, so kind of to continue that, I was wondering, what do you do on the internet that truly brightens your day? True, on the internet that brightens my day. Well, I read a lot of news on the internet, and that doesn't always brighten my yep. day. <laughs> Um, I suppose like reaching out to friends is really, that's, the, I mean, I don't use social media and I don't interact with strangers on the internet, but what I do use the internet for is checking in every day with a group of friends. I used to, back in the day, I'd spend an hour on the telephone calling all different friends, how you doing, what's going on, you know, those check-in calls. Now it's a check-in text, you know, Yeah. which you, people give a lot of flack for that, but you can communicate more with people with text, I think, mm -hmm. than you can uh, by by talking on the phone uh, like we used to do. So yeah, that's what I use the internet for, yeah. is, is to reach out and uh, stay in touch with people. I think I'm right there with you. Because my Nana got Facebook, she will probably watch this interview when I post yeah. it. Okay, Otherwise, good. she would never. <laughs> Thank you so Hi, much. Nana.